that right. You guys, I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. I um, made breakfast, as you saw, and um, I wanted to start off this vlog very zen. Um, I'm just having one of those moments where I'm realizing just on other levels how being grateful for what you do have, being patient for what's to come, and believing that you're going to get the things you need in life at the right time. When you have that mindset, you can't go wrong. You're destined for greatness. Um, I'm sitting in this apartment. I ended up setting up some last minute pieces of furniture. I still have a couple more things that I need to get, but all of the major things, all of the major boxes are out of the way in this apartment. And I'm really just looking at it for what it is becoming, for what it is. And I'm just grateful. Like, I don't know any other word to describe how I feel. I am just, so grateful I'm so grateful <sighs> I'm trying to hydrate and I hope you guys are having a great weekend because this in and of itself makes my weekend fully oh 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 <laughs> I feel <laughs> So cute. This is my little outfit of the day. I feel kind of cute. Okay. I um really have been dabbling into changing. Up, I wouldn't say changing up my wardrobe, but just kind of putting more effort into my wardrobe. So um, I feel like that's one thing about now having my own apartment. Let me talk to you guys. Let me talk to you. Get real with you. Um, Yeah. Like one of the things about having my own apartment and maybe I'm just connecting dots here that don't make any sense to be connected but in my personal opinion I feel like my joy my inside joy is just thriving now that I am living alone so um I'm just I just have more joy I just have more joy so I am about to go ahead and get ready to head out of here I'm gonna head out now bye Guys, I am in Whole Foods right now, shopping. I got a couple of healthy items, and then look what we found. It's so funny. Look what we found. Babe, show them what you got. Look at this. This is called Cosmic Jerry Sauce. If you guys don't know, my boyfriend's name is Jerry. So. Shit is banging. Stop. Hey y'all, it is a new day. Let me sit you guys up for a second. I um just made some breakfast. I just got out the gym not too long ago. Um, Literally, I just got back like 10 minutes ago. It's a brand new day. Yeah, okay, anyways. Um, yeah, guys, where I feel I am mentally. I just haven't been vlogging that much um, because I really just want to get very specific, like I said. And I think that in order to not burn out, I need to just like make sure I'm always encouraged. I think I need to like be very clear on what I think the outcome or what I want my outcomes to be in anything that I do and let that carry me and let that keep me inspired and keep me like happy to do things that I say I'm gonna do um so that's where I'm at so yeah that's just that's just where I'm at right now today's Monday I'm off today and when I say off I mean my schedule is free to create it how I see fit and that includes working on some of my career goals so i'm going to edit this youtube video you'll probably see it this evening and um 
yeah, I'm gonna get some work done for some of my acting things. Me and a group of my friends, we collaborated on a really cool project. It was called Nina. It's a short film. I'm gonna leave the link below, so if you wanna watch the short film. We recently um, submitted it to a bunch of film festivals. We're doing the film festival circuit, and we won. <laughs> 2021 um we won the 2021 urban showcase we won the new media best new media like best short film new media project and i won best actress so um the showcase is super dope it's an international film festival i'll leave more information about the film festival down below as well and yeah, you guys check out some of the finalists, some of the winners, their films. Um, they're all out there for the world to see. I had a great time just getting to know a lot of the filmmakers and creatives in the showcase. I'm super proud of my team uh, for just working together and staying consistent and, you know, just continuing to bring attention to the short film. And like, you know, just when it comes to marketing and just getting it into the hands of change makers of people who can take it to higher platforms you know what i mean so super grateful but now i'm going to work on a little bit of things related to that and um i'm glad i got a workout in definitely fitness and self-care mentally is a big goal of mine and you know even with that like just having an idea of what i want the outcome to be using that to keep me encouraged you know what i mean so that i'm not falling short of anything that i say i'm gonna do so i definitely did take the weekend off but i worked out really hard today i'm making sure that i'm eating right drinking my water that's what's going on that's my check-in it's okay you guys so we are going to be doing my kitchen today as you can see let me actually give you a better look. I have wood on all of my cabinets and I am gonna go ahead and put black peel and stick on all of these. Turning it black just so that it matches better with my stove, with my fridge. I did think about doing the fridge black too, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, there's only but so much I'm willing to do <laughs> for the space. Um, so that's that. And then I have, um, yes, I'm going to do the tops. And then I have marble peel and stick, which I'm going to put on this because it's kind of like an off white. I'm just going to kind of bring it around the top, clear all of this out and just figure what I'm doing, figure out what I'm doing with this because this presentation looks terrible. So this is my little before, just so you can see. This is my before, just so you can see what we have going on. And I'll take you step by step as I start my peel and stick. I also just want to say, yes, this has been a long time coming, this peel and stick. I should have did this as the very first thing before I moved in here because it would already be done. And now I'm at the point where I'm dreading doing it just because it's been so long. I definitely thought about just not doing it at all, but I'm not going to do that to myself. I said I was going to do it. I brought all the tools needed to get this done. So I am going to dedicate the time today to do it. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I just got in the shower, got cleaned up from the gym. Now I am ready. As you see, I'm in my DIY <laughs> shorts. I basically have been in these whenever I painted, whenever I did my room, when I did my floors. So now I am in the kitchen. I don't know what the glare is maybe it's just my camera we will get a new one soon um but yeah so we're in my kitchen right now I'm about to do the peel and stick okay I cannot believe I'm actually doing this today because it has been so long overdue let me show you guys let me show you guys the peel and stick I got so um I got these off of Amazon this is super rental friendly if you guys don't watch this type of content um i do <laughs> and i absolutely love watching videos of people remodeling their rentals because 
you get a lot of cool ideas and inspiration of like how you can turn a space into a completely different look while still being renter friendly, while you're still able to get your security deposit back if you leave. So I'm really into that, especially with my first apartment. I really want this to look special, at least look close as possible to what I want it to look like. If you guys have been following my journey, then you already know some things just were not according to plan. Um, the color scheme of my apartment is not originally what I was looking for, but it was more work to like repaint and certain things like I couldn't get around. So um, I have just changed things around as I went. Um, my idea of what I really wanted was like a, a warm toned type of place. I wanted it to be real vibey in here. I wanted it to be, I don't know, I just like my my themes are like clay and sand and you know, incense and like I really was going for that type of vibe. But now my theme is centered a little bit more around um, fresh, relaxing, um, heaven like, you know, I really want to feel closer to God in this space in one way or another. And so um, I think the light sky blue walls um the white in here really makes me feel a little bit more uh tranquil and re revived and refreshed that kind of thing so it is a cooler toned apartment um and because of that the brick is very warm i don't really like that it clashes in my opinion with the cool toned environment that i have going on here so i am going to turn the kitchen which regardless whatever i did with this house i really wanted this kitchen to be <laughs> this specific look um so let me tell you what i got i ended up getting marble for the countertop so everything you see here that is off white is going to be marble peel and stick on top uh, like I said, I got this from Amazon. It was only like 10 or 15 bucks and it comes with a lot of paper. I know that I'll have more of this left over for sure. I also got just simple black peel and stick. I also got this from Amazon, same price. And um, this is going to go all on the wood. Everywhere you see wood, the black is going to be. Um, down here as well. I hope I don't run out of this. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks like, I don't know, looks like there's a lot here, but I may run out of this. I'm hoping not. Hopefully I have just enough. So let's get started with this thing, shall we? All right, you guys. So I just started by scrubbing down all of the surfaces. I used a disinfectant spray as well as some cleaning paste and I scrubbed everything down, including the tiles of the walls. It was a really nice way to get everything super clean. This is my second time going over everything. And then I took a microfiber towel and dried everything before starting. Now, this is me actually peeling and sticking everything onto the surface so i started with the marble i already did one log and you pretty much just go down um, i'm using this red spatula sort of thing to just kind of scrape as i go as you can see i'm just pulling apart little bit by little bit until the whole surface is covered um i'm gonna show you guys a little bit closer up but you can also see me cutting excess pieces all right you guys so i'm gonna show you just like this portion of it because now i feel i've got it down packed enough to let you know exactly what i'm really doing so if you get this kit from amazon it's actually really functional and each tool does something different this red one has been helping me out the most um i have my corner in what i also find to be very helpful let me see if i can bring you closer to this little area right here on the corner. Now, this was a whole line and it just kind of like is a little piece that went behind here. If you have excess peel and stick, I recommend keeping that because now I put this new layer on and I think it just kind of diffuses the uh, area between the two a lot smoother as well as, for example, this sheet. I didn't get it as close to the edge as possible, but because the other one underneath is there already, it looks like I got it super close. See? So, yeah, um, that's a tip. If you're doing this at home, I'm finishing up this last log. And um, 
Yeah. It's one of those things I definitely feel like you just got to get on it and just do it so that you really know how it is for you. Um, also, every, literally every, like, centimeter, I find that the air bubbles are not going to, you're, you'll get less air bubbles if you do, like, the very small pieces of sticker at a time. So, um, yeah. And also, I found this to be a good trick as well. So, this is the red one that I've been using for mostly all of it. But this tool is also really helpful. Now, this, personally, like, doing this sink area, this is almost like cutting. You see that? I just made a hole in the in the paper. This is cutting the necessary areas without me using the sharp knife this is really nice because the these little edges they're not sharp but they are perfect for getting a precise cut around the hard to reach areas so hope that's helpful let me finish this up and i will show you what it looks All like right, you guys so this is my countertop it looks really good it's nice and smooth I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, if you guys can see, I have already started on my black portion, but I feel very overwhelmed. I feel like I have a lot <laughs> to do. So I am just going to take a break and um, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. So stay tuned for my next vlog to see the full product, the full kitchen finished and complete. If you guys like this type of content, please let me know because I will do more DIY rent friendly videos if you guys like to see them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm tired y'all. I'm going to sleep or taking a nap or getting some food or water or something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.